Listen, y'all. Paul was giving Titus instruction on what to do and how to do. See, she was sent me this 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 thing uh, about the preacher was preaching, and he was saying, "How many of y'all love y'all pastor?" And she would, "Do you have that? Do you have that?" Because he was saying, "How many of you love your pastor?" And if you love your pastor. Mm -mm -mm. I tell you, I thought about that and I said, Lord, mm, do people love their leaders the way they're supposed to? Do they honor them the way they're supposed to? If they men and women of God, I ain't talking about nobody that abuse you and talk down to you and, 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 and tell you, uh, love you if you give a whole lot of money or you give this. No, I'm talking about somebody who will give you the word. Tanya, would you read uh, from one through uh, five, please? Sure, yes, ma'am. Paul, a servant of God and an apostle of Jesus Christ, according to the faith of God's elect and the acknowledging of the truth, which, which is after godliness. Hold on right there. He said, God elect. That means that God has called leaders into a position that they ought to treat everybody the way God has treated them. And, and then he goes on to say, he said, uh, an acknowledge of the truth is after godliness. The truth. Are you ministering to people after the truth? As leaders, God holds us in a higher standard. And I, you know what? I didn't want to be no pastor. I just wanted to evangelize. I wanted to go in and get out. But when he called me, when you're chosen, and, and, and the thing about it is daddy didn't tell me until he was on his dying bed. He said, my mama said, you're going to be the first woman pastor. Well, Diane was already preaching. So I, when she started preaching, I said, well, he got, he got the wrong daughter. He, he, she must have met Diane. But then when ca God called me into pastorship, then I knew he was talking to me. And my grandma Bessie uh, Dawkins, Russell Dawkins, she had discernment, could play the piano. Nobody taught her how to play the piano. She played by air. And so she already had gifts. Uh -huh. And so, listen, I've been reading about preachers and what, what is going to happen to them and leaders in the church. If they don't do what God has called them to do, if they using the gift for filthy lucre and gain say, oh, woe be unto you. Oh, what you stop time? Two. Oh. two. Okay, read two again. Read one again or two? Two. In hope of eternal life, which God that cannot lie promised before the world began. Keep going. But hath in due times manifested his word through preaching, which is committed unto me according to the commandment of God our Savior. Listen, he gave it to you. He committed it unto you that you may declare his word. And to do it, Jesus, he declared the word. He didn't have to do no whole lot of fussing and arguing and fighting. Those 12 disciples that he called, save one, Judas the Carey, they honored the Lord. They was, at one point, they was willing to die for him. But when the time came, he knew they would run. He knew it, but he knew they'd be back. How many people are running from the calling? How many people are preaching another gospel uh -huh. and it's not of God? Come on, man. You know, stop. The Lord did not make us beggars. He didn't make us beggars, uh, uh, Mr. Dreads and Pastor. He, Elder, he didn't make us beggars. He said, you, you know what? When God put it in your heart as a minister or a member, 
to be a blessing. It ain't you. It's God putting it in your heart. The enemy ain't going to tell you to do what God tell you to do. He going to tell you to keep your money in your pocket. That's all they want is your money. But God is so awesome in his doing. Verse 4 tells us what time? To Titus, my own son, after the common faith. Grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ our Savior. For this cause left I thee in Crete, that thou shouldest set in order the things that are wanted, and ordain elders in every city, as I had appointed thee. Wait a minute. So, Pastor Gowan, and and, and I'm I'm just gonna say it, and a uh, a. Uh, uh, Co-pastor of trades. Yes. It's order. That's it. It's order. That's the order. That's the order. That's the order. Now look, Jane was the bishop, which is a pastor. And and sometimes these words we think, well, I'm gonna elevate myself. No, no. no God elevates you. That's right. He does what he gonna do. He appoints you. Mm -hmm. How many people are appointing themselves? One day they are pastor. Next day they are apostle. The next day they are doctor. Have you suffered for the position you got? Come on. Come on. Each position comes with a battle. It comes with a test. You can't go from the first grade to the twelfth grade and get a diploma. Can't do it. You can't do it. Some folks say, well, God skipped me over these things. Okay. You say. But God is an order God. He's not out of order. He taught the disciples three whole years, day and night. They were with him. How, and they had him. He was their head. How many do? My head is Apostle one in Detroit. Some folks say, well, uh, I don't have a head. Mm -hmm. Well, now, something wrong with this picture. When you get in trouble, who you going to to confirm your word? Uh, uh, who's going to teach you? You in the position. It's, it's, it's something. He, he, Paul told Titus, I left you in Crete that you may straighten out some things. If you can't be taught, if you can't be ministered to, if you can't be told what you're doing is wrong, and then you want to leave, well, it's time for me to go. Because I love being in singing. I love having a boyfriend and singing on the choir. I love having a, a male friend being, on, being in a high position because uh, that's where I'm at. God know what I need. No. You know what you need, but you blaming God. He made me, I'm a man. He made me, I'm a woman. But there are certain things I cannot do. If I do them, I expect my leader to say to me, Bishop, can't do that and preach this gospel. Why are we so afraid to tell people the truth? Why are we so afraid? All God told me to do, he said, preach my gospel. Treat, preach the truth. That's what Paul is telling Titus. He appointed you to do this. One girl said to me, she said, Bishop, I'm not ready for your church. And within a few months, she died. She said, if I come to your church, I know I have to live right. Wait a minute. So you telling me you want to go to church and no, you're not living right. You want to go somewhere where you can just slide by. Don't put me on no, I don't want to get on the choir. I don't want to get, I don't want to usher. I don't want to help in the church. I just want to come in, sit down, hear the word and go back out. Come in and center, go back out of backslid and center. Well, most time backsliders. Because if you in the church, you got there. For real. Yeah. And you backslid. Yeah. 
And Satan told you that the imitation was the truth. Yeah. That's what Paul left Titus to do. Go ahead, Tanya, verse 6. Anybody got anything? You know yes, sir. Uh, you know, we're talking about James Shield. We are pulling ourselves position. Okay, here she come with the mic. And when we point ourselves, you may appoint yourself and get there, but that ain't gonna keep you there. All right. Only All right. the word, only Jesus, yeah. the Holy Spirit will keep you there. That's right. So often we want a shortcut. Yes. And we get hung up in the title. Uh, you you give me all, you give me the best title in the world. Hmm. But if you can't back the title up, oh, no. you're gonna be called out. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And then you're going to feel guilty. Then you're going to feel like, I done ran out. And I ain't got nothing else to say. And why you do this to me? It wasn't God did it to you. You did it to yourself. That's right. That's and so, right. And so often, you know, I, I'm just thinking about this morning, you know, it, it just kind of come across my mind. And, and, and Jesus said, the Bible said, it's hard for a rich man to enter the kingdom than it is for a camel to go through the eye of a needle. Right. And I said, you know, when you talk about preachers and we look at all these preachers got all this money. And that's wrong with money. Don't get me wrong. Ain't nothing that's wrong right. with it. Anything right. wrong with it. it ain't what you got, it's what you do with what you got. Come and on. You, if you're on. doing it in the right Come way, that's, that's, right. That's, that's no problem having money. Yeah. But it looks like it was like the Lord was saying, look at what they chase. Mm. Yeah. Look at what they chase. It's almost like saying, you know, he was saying like, okay. When I ask you to preach my word, why y'all don't follow? Mm. But if I get up there with a million dollar suit on, come on, and I preach the word, y'all just follow me. They just follow them. Mm -hmm. is, is you following them or are you following the word? Yeah, exactly. nah. Because I heard you say after after the sermons, oh man, I sure wish I was like him. Uh. And the only reason you want to be like him because he, you think he got all the money in the world. Yes. But what's gonna happen when? The income, mm. when that money that he had won't buy him a ticket to go home. Come on. That was his kingdom. Mm -hmm. And he got all the people that he could, and it's like the, like the devil said, you see there? Mm. You know, y'all blame me, <laughs> but it ain't me. I, I know I do some stuff, yeah. but the rest of that stuff ain't on me. That's right. Y'all, That's some stuff y'all do and blame me. Just like you said a while ago, we, we blame God. Well, I'm human. I'm man. I'm this. But there's some rules we got to apply. That's right. There's, a, there's some ways we got to walk in and ways we got to live. That's I just can't live like anybody. Because mm. see, the thing about it is, like you said a while ago, you can't say, well, like, when you, when you, when that name said pastor, nah. they look at me more so than they ever looked at me. I know. <laughs> you say he pastor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to forget that day you said, dude, so who's going to pray? <laughs> and they looked at me like, what? Pastor Gowers, when that happen? Uh, when did he do that? I know you're a good boy, but pastor? Nah. That's whoa. That's right. That's so right. when they hang, you know, most people think, with, yeah, yeah, you pastor, you got to make. No, you ain't. Mm -mm. No, you ain't. They checking you out closer than you check yourself out. Come on now. Because they waiting for you to mess up or waiting for you to say something. That's right. And I thought you was, and I thought you was. Yes. I thought you was. Yes. Mm. Mm. So you got to be careful. Mm -hmm. You not only got to preach, you got to live it too. That's right. That's right. Verse 6. If any be blameless, the husband of one wife, mm. having faithful children not accused of riot or unruly, for a bishop must be blameless as the steward of God, not self-willed, not soon angry, not given to wine, nor striker, not given to filthy lucre, mm. but a lover of hospitality, a lover of good men, yeah. sober, just, holy, temperate. Hold on, hold on. Are you quick to get angry? Uh, 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 listen, this is a, a bishop, a preacher. Mm -hmm. A bishop must be blameless. Now, 
I know we do things, but I'm talking about just right out self doing things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A steward of God. Yeah. Not self will. Mm -hmm. And you know, sometimes people say, well, they just run over you. No, they ain't running over me. They running over God. Yeah. Because I'm healed. Mm -hmm. Well, I would have been upset if they said what to me what they said to you. Mm -hmm. That's different. That's did it hurt me? Yes, it hurt my feelings. Did did were they ugly to me? Yeah. What did you say? You didn't say nothing? What can I say? They was angry already. The Bible says, uh, provoke not an angry man to wrath. That's it. Were they, were, were, uh, we just have enough social. You can drink some couple of things of wine and this and that. No, no thank you, not right now. If I do it, I may do it in the comfort of my own home. Not no striking nor give it, look, y'all, I ain't preaching for the money. I'm That's preaching right. for the soul. Because right. all the money you have in the world is not going in the casket with you. And if it do, the, the, the worms going to eat it. You just giving them a little more to eat on. We, I mean, I'm a pastor, and some people say, well, that's your car? Yeah, that's my kill. Say it, Dad. It rides me where I want to go. Come on. I don't have to have no big fancy car. Because if I have a big fancy car, I'm going to have a big fancy payment. There you go. If I had a big house, I'm going to have a big house payment. Mm -hmm. I am satisfied with Jesus. Mm -hmm. And whatever he give me is just fine with me. Now, I know he said he would give me the desires of my heart. And eventually he will. Mm -hmm. If I keep driving my kid. I got to learn how to treat a kid. Mm -hmm. So that when he give me what he want me to have, mm -hmm. I can testify of that thing. Mm -hmm. It was God that spoke it. It was God that gave it. I ain't begging nobody for nothing. Mm -hmm. Because the Lord, I, I, keep, I have to keep saying this, I don't serve a begging God. Mm -hmm. he, he didn't tell me to beg, but he said, ask. And there's a difference between begging and asking. Yeah. I ask you, and, and, and if, and you know what? If I ask you, the Lord already done told me you got it. Mm -hmm. And if you say you don't have it, you a liar. Because God wouldn't have told me. But thank be to God that he supplies all my needs according to his riches and glory. Pastor Crystal told me one time, she said, Bishop, I want God to, he said he owned the hills and the cattle there. She said, I'm asking God to slay one of them cows for you. And I said, hmm, I hadn't thought of that. Because when you, when you get, me, Daddy used to buy half a cow every year. And one year, Francis and myself, we bought half of a half. And honey, we had so much meat. It lasted us for almost a year. And then when I went to the grocery store, I didn't want to buy no meat. Because it was high. And I said, Lord, we better buy another cow. Because that meat was good. I had everything I wanted that supplied my need. And it, guess what? I was eating steak when everybody was eating hamburger meat. Because guess what? First, you got to save up your money. Yeah. To get what you want. Come on, baby. And some people want to spend everything they got. Mm -hmm. And don't give God nothing. Yeah. And you wonder why you low on fun? Because you will a man rob God. Oh, Where in have we robbed you, God? With your tithes and offerings. Yep. Bring it to the storehouse that they may be meet in my house. Uh -huh. And then he say, prove me. Ooh. And y'all, I've proved God so many times. And that's what Paul is telling Titus to do. Make sure these people that you elect are men and women of God. You got something, Trey? Anybody else got something? Okay. Tony? Holding fast the faithful word as he hath been taught, that he may be able to sound, by sound doctrine, both to exhort and to convince the, the gainsayers. 
Wait a minute. If you got the word in you, you can convert folks. You can cause them to look at your life and say, because they used to call me old Josephine. That I thought that was part of my name, old Josephine. And somebody said, who she thinks she is? I went to school with her. You did, but you didn't you didn't go to God with me. I went to God by myself. And when he told me what he told me, I applied it to my life. And this is what comes out of an applied life in the word of God. Teach it. God is telling us, look, study my word. Trust my word. And when you do that, and you'll start saying what I say. Don't tell me what the Bible says, what you think. I don't think nothing. I say what the word says. Because my opinion don't, don't amount to a hill of beans. My opinion about things. If I'm not in the word of God and in him, I'll give you the same worldly example you're looking for. Verse 10, time. For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the, of the circumcision. Who many. Many, uh, many preachers. I'm telling you, Pastor, I ain't never heard of so many ministers and pastors doing things. It's a money thing. It's a money thing. I don't know if y'all called it the other day. But uh, what's the preacher that took over? Um, God, what's his name? He's in Atlanta. Uh, uh, yeah, him. Mm -hmm. He was on TV mm -hmm. saying the pastors ought to apologize to the LG, LGBT. So we, we need to apologize when we treated them in the church. Mm -hmm. All the pastors. Mm -hmm. I said, my Lord. See, the thing about it is, I say what the Bible says. That's it. Right. That's it. That's what the Bible says. And what says. Jesus called abomination, abomination. what he called filthy lucre, mm -hmm. what he called strife, mm -hmm. that's what I say. What he called adultery, mm -hmm. what he called incest, mm -hmm. that's what I say. And if you want to sue somebody, sue the Bible. Mm -hmm. I'm just telling you what the Bible says. Mm -hmm. It's not my word, it's the word of God. Because if I came to you with my word, I can't back it up. But if I come to you with the word of God, it can be backed up from Genesis to Revelation. And God approve him his own self. But we need to stop. Uh, you're not apologizing for me. You're apologizing for you. I'm going to say what God said. We can, it may be legally right, but is it morally right? Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I mean, people doing things for filthy lucre. Some people just doing things to be seen. Seen by other folks. To get favor of man. We cannot do it. As leaders in the body of Christ. Some people have lost, left their first love. They have walked away from the faith. Willing to please the flesh and to go the way of the world. God don't, look, but this Bible is yesterday, tomorrow's newspaper. This Bible say what God said. And if you keep looking at it, and I, look, have you seen somebody get on the TV? And tell a lie and then get on the TV tomorrow and say they didn't say it. Somebody's blinded. The devil has blinded the eyes of many people. Remember when 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 the Lord said, Who can I send? And a spirit called a lying spirit spoke up and said, Lord, I go down there and I tell them a lie. Ahab. Listen, how many Ahabs are in the world that the enemy is telling lies to? And they believe in it. Some even killing 
Because they believe what the enemy say. Y'all, we better tell the truth and lie not. We need to be like God. God left us here to pull people. The Bible said we'll be pulling people out of hell with even the stench of smoke still on. Now that's some power. Anybody? Verse 11. Whose mouths must be stopped. Who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not, for filthy lucre's sake. Hold on. The mouth's got to be stopped. When somebody say, uh, she didn't mean it. Yes, I did mean it. I meant what God said. That's right. The Lord said you cannot do what you do and still enter heaven. There you go judging me. There you go judging me. No, I'm judging you according to the word of God. The word of God said you should not have more wives than you can afford. Any man who got a girlfriend on the side paying her bill and not taking care of home, the Bible said they're worse than an infidel. If he won't work, he's worse than an infidel. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to tell the truth. And we're going to lie now. And we're going to trust God. Good morning, Miss Ann. God is awesome. And we got to stop the mouth. Subverting the whole house. It's all right if you have a girlfriend. It's all right if you do what you're doing. It's not all right. America. America. Who God shed his blood for us. One of the strongest nations that was in the world. And now we have fallen out to every wind and doctrine. Elder Joyce, go ahead. It just brings to mind um, something that I've heard more than one time. If God don't judge America, mm -hmm. He will have to apologize to Sodom and Gomorrah. Because mm -hmm. we're there. We're doing worse than what Sodom and Gomorrah did. That's why he's calling for repentance. He said, if my people who are called by my name will honor them say, pray, seek my face, then we are here from heaven. Heal their sin. Forgive that sin. Forgive that sin. And heal the land. Where is, where is our land? Our land is America. Our land is, is uh, 2210 East New Rome. <coughs> our land is Loud Drive. Our, our land. Our land. He will heal our land. If we repent. It is so much going on till you can't close your eyes. And you definitely can't close your ears. Because the thing that you think that used to be cross town is right at your door. Mm -hmm. And if you don't wake up and look up and pray, it'll be in your house. Mm -hmm. So we got to be aware. Oh, but I ain't no power away. Yes, you are. If you in a house with a family, you you a prayer warrior. You better pray. Yeah. You better pray for a thing come upon you. Worse than what it, what what has already been upon you. It's time to wake up and pray, pray, and pray the word. Look to the word. Say the word. And like we should say, if they want to sue somebody, tell them to sue Jesus. Which is the word. Amen. Amen. I wonder, I wonder sometime, y'all, I was looking at television in the news, and they were talking about how people are from different countries are sending their babies to the United States to have a better life. But I wonder how many perverts are waiting on those innocent babies to cross the border so that they can make a, a anything out of them, even to the point of, 
of, of taking their lives and getting their organs and selling them. Y'all listen, they are not telling us the half of what's going on in these United States of America. They're not telling you that we got congressmen and, and, and men in our government who are converting young men and women who are converting young, young women. They're not telling all that. Half the stuff we're not hearing. The Bible said these things would happen before the end of time. And we sit on our seats and do nothing and say, I don't want to get involved. I'm not going to vote because I don't know who to vote for. You better vote for somebody or you're going to be doing what everybody else is doing. It is important that you vote. If, 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 if Jesus, uh, uh, if Mary and them went to pay their taxes, it's, it, it's, it's got so bad now that we have made the young people in America so dependent on the government that they won't even, men won't even go to work. They won't even work for what they get. And you know what? They'll go to the food stamp office and the different places, and they be about ready to fight the employees. Because they feel that we owe them something. They feel that they ought to get a check for nothing. They feel that they ought, well, ain't you on food stamp talking to a young lady? It takes two to have a baby. Where, I mean, are we not being responsible as the body of Christ? We're not responsible because everybody's so afraid that if I say something, I'm going to be ridiculed. They're going to talk about you anyway. They talk about you anyway. If you give them all the money you got, that's not going to make them love you. They're going to look for more, and they're going to treat you worse. Go ahead, Tanya. One of themselves, even a prophet of their own, said, "The Christians are always liars. Are, are always liars, evil beasts, slow bellies. This witness is true. Wherefore rebuke them sharply, that they may be sound in the faith." Try, try to call you. Listen, you wrong. Who are you to tell me I'm wrong? I'm wrong. But you're wrong. So now, you going out scaling out my name because I told you you were wrong. You want to kill me because I told you you was wrong. You want to destroy me because I told you was wrong. But God is my defense city. We got to be careful, y'all, how we entertain strangers. They may not look like you. They may not act like you. But God might have sent them to deliver you from the hands of the wicked one. It's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. If, if you would read this whole title, the whole book of titles, I'm about to close. If you would read the whole book, you'll see where it talks about uh, 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 young men having their daddy's wife, yep. their sisters, their brother. And you say, it's OK. It's not OK. That's the reason we have so many people that have handicapped, bloodlines being crossed. I'm serious, bloodlines being crossed. If you read this Bible, you like drama? Read the Bible. You like killing? Read the Bible. You like fornication? Read the Bible. You like sex? Read the Bible and see what it says about all these things that we're doing in the United States of America. We let other countries bring their gods to us and now we serve them. What did the Lord tell the children of Israel? Do not serve their God. Do not. And so now, everybody's serving somebody. Do you know that the pyramid that's made like this, it's an Egyptian symbol. We got so many people saying, well, we belong to this group and we belong to that group. I belong to Jesus, the crucified one. Stop letting people sow anything in you. Stop being an open sepulchre. 
for people. And I said, Lord, I'm guilty. I'm just as guilty as they are. Because sometimes I wouldn't, I, I, I'm trying to not hurt somebody's feeling. And the Lord said, tell them what I say. Tell them what I say. Wrong is wrong. And if you listen to the seven bellies of hell, preachers, ministers, uh -huh. singers, we're going to be held, to, we are held to a higher standard. Because we name that name. And sometimes we just want to say faith. That's what we call it. And not say what God say. It's time now for us y'all to start saying what the Lord say. Stop playing games. Stop depending on people to save us. Stop depending on the government to save us. Because when you trust God, he going to make sure you get what you need. The widow woman. The Lord said, I sent him to a widow woman. And, it, and not just to bless him, but to bless her whole house. Mm -hmm. And you're going to come in my house telling me, feed me first. Mm -hmm. Me and my child going to eat this food mm -hmm. and die. Feed God first, and you'll live. Right. Not that you need your food. Paul was telling Titus, I left you in Crete so you can correct some things. How many of us is correcting things? How many of us are worshiping our children rather than God? Worshiping our husbands rather than God? Worshiping the government more than God? And we have been commanded. We've, we've heard it this morning. We're supposed to be an example. Of who the Lord is telling you, did you have something? Anybody? Anybody? You know. Yes, sir. Well, when you say we, we, uh, we depend on the government, don't it look like, I mean, maybe just me, but it don't it look like it sets it up for the Antichrist? You so depend on the government for everything. So when he comes in and says, look, Serve me. I got what you need. You need food. You need money. You need this. And you so easy to say, yeah, y'all better come and go, sir. Here's the man right here. We better come and go. But they don't realize that he ain't the one. That's right. And there's a price got to be paid. Right. But he ain't going to tell you that. That's right. So the thing about it is with those that own it, you, like you say, hey, man, get a job. You young enough to get a job. You yeah. can get a job and work and have what you want. Stop depending. Because you say, like, like you said, if, if I take my children and I'm always bailing them out, and I'm always bailing them out, is they going to love me anymore? No. Because the first time I stop and say, I ain't got it, oh, now you hate me. Uh -huh. right. Now you don't like me. Uh -huh. Now you cussing me out. Uh -huh. But see, the thing about it is, is they fault they cuss. But it's my fault because I taught them. Mm -hmm. I taught them to be, depend on me. And I taught them to, to, so, so they're going to do what they taught. Mm -hmm. So if you teach them to, 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 to lean and depend on the government, that's what they're going to do. Yeah. And, and it's like we hear all the time about children killing their parents because they took their Nintendo game. They took their game. They took something from them. And this morning, Tanya was, last night, Tanya was trying to show Kalea, you know, that she cutting the thing down. And when Tanya pulled the thing, she started screaming and hollering. And I said, uh-uh, we're not going to do that. She started screaming and hollering. And I said, hmm, we have let people be so comfortable our children, we, we do everything we can to keep them from being angry with us. Whatever they want to do, just don't, don't be mad at mommy. Don't be mad at daddy. Until the point they told you not to chastise your own children. If you're going to live in my house, oh, you're going to get chastised. If I'm going to feed you and clothe you, and you're going to talk junk to me? 
I need to drop you off at the police station before I get in trouble for abuse. I told Sheba, I said, Sheba, I might start a um, part-time teaching. She said, Mama, please don't do that. We ain't got enough money to get you out of jail. <laughs> See, because I don't believe in children talking back to their, fam their parents. I don't believe in two-year-old kicking at their parents in the grocery store and they are saying the nice lady gonna get you. No, the nice lady gonna get you because you are the adult. When are we gonna stand up to a two-year-old and say no? When are we gonna say to our children, uh, I'm cooking and whatever I cook it, I know you like it, so I'm gonna cook. We ain't going to Hardy's McDonald's, Burger King. And it got to the point now children don't want to eat real food. They're growing up on supplements, such as those names that I call. And then you're wondering why they get the, a disease of the old folks. We got to start following what Jesus said. Whatever the Lord say, that's what I say. Whatever he says, that's what I say. We can no longer pretend that we serving God and not, not facing what the enemy is throwing out. We can't do it. Paul told, told Titus, he told him, he said, teach them what they need to know. And when they start teaching them what they need to know, then guess what? They'll know what not to do. If I don't tell my children cursing at me is wrong, and they get to school, and they start cussing at the teacher. Mm -hmm. One teacher told me, she said, uh, Bishop, I can tell what kind of home the children come from. Because two or three year old come in cussing, and you that's the only language they hear from their parents. Mm -hmm. So they think it, it, they don't be ashamed to, to say what my mama said, and you call the parent, and they cuss you out, you say, okay, that's where that come from. Yeah, they cuss just like their mom and dad. So where do we go from here? You want me to teach your children, but you don't want them to obey children fighting teachers. That's what we come to. And they tell you, you can't lay hand on them. So my children were right to tell me, don't go in the classroom, I'm gonna call you up trying to teach somebody because you'll be in jail. But I'd rather my children go to heaven than go to hell. My grandchildren. One lady told her son, said, why you wanna go to her house? You know if you do something wrong, she gonna get you. Now what does that to say to you? <laughs> They'll stop the children from coming to your house if they, if, and, and you know what I told y'all, don't let them come to my house because I discipline little children. And if I have to fight little children, I surely will. For real. <laughs> little boy jumped at me. I said, I fight little children. <laughs> and he went to his mom. <laughs> you don't do that. Teach them how, teach them, teach them. Honor your elders, respect them, and God will be glorified. Anybody else for we quit? The Lord sure helped me today. Did he help you all? Amen.